What's going on, you guys? Bryce McKinley, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. Hey, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the three sins that everyone makes and commits when negotiating, when, especially when you're just first starting out. By the end of this video, you're going to know what not to do, what not to do, but more so the how of not to do it. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to give you some golden nuggets on what you can do differently every single time to clean up the language and conversation when negotiating. If you don't know Bryce, he's crushing it. He's doing over 50 wholesale deals a month. So, three sins in negotiations. You see, when I think of sins, I think of things that you probably shouldn't do. And that's exactly what I wanna share here with you. You see, the number one sin that people commit when they're negotiating is speaking after they've asked a question, speaking after they've asked for the deal, speaking after they're seeking for a response. What's their problem? Maybe getting uncomfortable with the silence? It's okay. Be silent and let the silence be the determining factor. You see, most people go in and they ask a question and after a few seconds, they feel like they need to fill the void with some sort of words. Don't do it. You know, for example, if you're talking to your seller and you're saying something along the lines of like, gosh, if I gave you cash today, what's the absolute lowest amount you take for the property? And they're sitting there thinking about it. Don't jump in and say, gosh, I don't know, like just throw a random number out there, like 100,000, 150,000, because you're gonna anchor them with that number, let alone they're still in the process of processing what just happened. Subconsciously, they're not aware that they're about to give you information and you can use that information to close that deal. So the number one sin that people commit when negotiating is speaking after they've asked for the deal, speaking after they've asked a question. Number two, stop using filler words. How many of you have ever been on the phone and you're like, how much time do you guys need? Like a month or, or maybe like you guys did anything to the roof lately or like, or what? Stop using the word or at the end of your sentence. Stop using, um, um, looking at uh, the numbers here and, um, like these filler words just show the lack of con confidence and the lack of credibility that you already give our industry. So if you're gonna use words like gotcha, gotcha, or um, okay, okay, just stop doing it. These filler words don't help you. As a matter of fact, they actually hurt you because in the subconscious of your prospect's mind, in the subconscious of the other person in your communication event, they don't know what's going on, but it just doesn't feel comfortable. How many of you watching this video could possibly go on and maybe watch another video or you feel that? That's the same feeling that someone else is having. When you use the word or at the end of a sentence, people unknowingly or subconsciously are like, or what? Stop using filler words. And last but surely not least, the number three sin that I believe nine out of 10 people use that needs to stop today is agreeing with your prospects without even knowing you're doing it. You know, you might be wondering, what am I talking about? Well, let's see. Maybe you ask them a question and they give an answer and you're like, okay, okay. Or maybe you say, gotcha, gotcha. Kind of like the last one, it's a filler word, but what you don't realize is that when you use agreeing words or agreeing words like, okay, gotcha, you're right. You're agreeing with them and now you're planting whatever belief that they have as true and valuable. And that's just not the case. If you're trying to negotiate with them and you're trying to get them to challenge the belief or the number that they have or the, the condition of the property that they have, if you agree with them subconsciously, well, you're gonna have a hard time negotiating when you want them to have a change of heart. So, three sins of negotiation. Stop speaking after you've asked a question. Silence is your friend. Stop using filler words like or, um, gotcha, okay. And stop agreeing without knowing that you're agreeing. Stop agreeing 
subconsciously with the person on the other side of the communication event. Lose words like okay and gotcha out of your vocabulary. And when you do this, you'll find your negotiations become a lot easier. Guys, Bryce McKinley here, Coach Sharpen. You know what time it is. I want to personally thank you for watching these videos. You see, you might want to subscribe to this channel, and I'm not just saying that to get more followers, but the knowledge that I draw, I guarantee you won't get anywhere else. You see, the information that I give is not just the fluff that every other puru, guru, and bleh, guru talks about. You might want to stay alert for what's happening next. So, subscribe, hit the notification bell to keep you posted. You're not going to want to miss what I drop on this channel. Every single day